Welcome to Growing Faith Resources. I'm Katie, a certified Christian educator, and I'm here to help you figure out what's going to work best for your congregation. Today, we're going to talk about Feasting on the Word curriculum, which is a curriculum your whole congregation can use. So let's take a look. So what is Feasting on the Word curriculum? Well, this is a curriculum that follows the Revised Common Lectionary. So if your congregation is a lectionary church, or if, you, um, if your pastor spends a lot of time preaching from the lectionary, you might want to consider this curriculum. One of the four lectionary texts is chosen each week, and every single age group studies the exact same biblical passage. Um, the curriculum is quarterly, meaning it's going to tell you which dates to use, which lessons, and which scripture texts. And we offer this curriculum for kindergarten through second grade, third and fourth grade, uh, fifth and sixth grade, our tweens age, multi-age, so that's kindergarten all the way through sixth grade. We have a youth component um, and a component for young adults and adults. We also have a piece called Joining the Feast, which allows, your, um, it allows you to make connections between worship and what's happening in the service with what you're studying in your age and stage gatherings. So this curriculum works really well if you want to really dive into the lectionary in both your age and stage gatherings as well as worship. So as I mentioned, we have leaders guides for kindergarten through second grade, third and fourth grade, our tweens age group, which is fifth and sixth grade, and a multi-age, which is kindergarten through sixth grade. And all of those feature a color pack. Our color packs are visual learning aids that help the teacher as they're leading the lesson. There's posters and different things in here that you'll use as part of the session and you'll be directed when to use which posters for what activities. Um, our youth and adult leaders guides do not have color packs but they do have some great resource pages and other additional resources that you'll find within the curriculum in the leaders guides. All of the leaders guides include the following. Helpful background information for the leader based on information from the Feasting on the Word commentary um, if you're familiar with that commentary series, it's very well loved. There are detailed session plans in each leader's guide. There are resource pages that are reproducible for your learners, which you can either hand out physically or digitally. Um, and there are helpful tips in the margins for the leaders as well. Additionally, we have a piece for young adults. This is called Conversations on the Feast. And these are kind of one-page discussion starters used by leaders and participants. Um, and each session includes excerpts from the commentaries with discussion questions along with a media connection. So these are great to use with young adults, so think college age students, um, and a great way to kind of tie in the uh, lectionary to a more informal discussion. So now let's take a look inside one of the leader's guides so that you can get an idea of how the session flows. Um, this is the multi-age, but pretty much all of the age groups look very similar to this. Um, so you'll see that we have the lectionary text at the top and the one that you're going to be focusing on this week. We pull information directly from the Feasting on the Word commentary. So that's the what, where, so what, now what information that you're seeing. And this is just fantastic background information that helps the leader feel really prepared as they're approaching whatever the passage is for that week. Just helping us understand what, what about this passage do I need to know? You know, how is God at work in this? What does this mean? And what do we do with it now that we know what it's about? So great background information there. Uh, on the next page, you'll get a little bit more uh, teacher preparation and a prayer for your teacher. You'll also get uh, the materials list, whatever you might need for the session. And um, then you get into the actual session plan itself. So you're going to start um, with your gathering time, and a lot of the leader's guides use candles. Um, you're going to see that this particular session flow models the reformed uh, style of worship. So you have your gathering in. Your next section is exploring, and that's kind of where you dive into the word, look at the story, read through the story, kind of um, you may ask questions or just kind of you know get into the text. 
and see what the passage is that you're studying for that week. Then you go into the responding section. And in the responding section, there are going to be a list of different activities that you can choose from. You may have enough time to do all of the activities. You may only have time for a few of the activities, or you may want to pick and choose activities that are going to work best for your group. Um, and there are some great helpful teaching tips in the sidebars that you'll want to pay attention to. So after, the, after that section, you're going to have your closing section. And so this is when we kind of, we usually close with some form of prayer, maybe a little bit of, uh, a little bit more of that worship aspect that we saw in the beginning. So the pages after that are going to vary because these are going to be your resource pages and they'll be different um, ones for different sessions. And so they'll look like different things. As you can see, this one's kind of a, um, something to read. This is a, like a coloring sheet, because again, this is the multi-age. You obviously wouldn't have coloring sheets for like your adult leader's guides and things of that nature. Um, here's kind of a, a workbook page that the kids can do. So just different stuff, um, depending on what the session needs, will determine what kind of resource pages you have. So I hope this look inside gives you a good sense of um, how the curriculum flows. We offer several different packages that allow you to buy Feasting on the Word in more economical ways. So this gives you kind of a discount as you're putting together different pieces, especially if you find that you're using different pieces in different ways. So you can buy each um, leader's guide and color packs and stuff like that individually, um, or you can use some of these packages. So the total church plan is for churches that want to use every single piece, and um, you know, use all the leader's guides and the um, joining the feast piece as well for each quarter. We have a small church plan that includes a multi-age children's leader's guide, a youth, young adult, and adult, and a joining the feast um, leader's guides. So, and you could actually buy that for 12 months out of the year. The, um, you can order our individual pieces or our total church plan by quarter, so that means you'll have 13 weeks of material, or you can order them by nine month increments, which gets you through a typical program year, or you can order them in 12 month increments, which would get you through the entire calendar year, including summer. So those are some of your options if you're thinking about um, purchasing several of these different uh, pieces and uh, wanting to kind of group them together to get a little bit of a discount. This wraps up our information on Feasting on the Word curriculum. I hope this helps you discern if this curriculum is the right one for your congregation. If you'd like to learn more about this curriculum and download a sample session, you can visit our website at www.pcusastore.com slash F-O-W curriculum. If you like this video and you want to support the work that we do, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll learn anytime we post new videos about this or other great resources that are helpful for your congregation. Finally, I want to say thank you for watching and God be with you.